Welcome back to another video, everybody. Uh, this is another Forza Horizon 4 video. And this video is going to be on the Naper Railton. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. You can see in the top left there, 1933 Naper Railton. It is, I call it the airplane car because it has an airplane engine in it. So in this giant car, there is an airplane engine in the front. And this was, in 1933, the world's fastest car for a while because it could go 170 plus miles per hour, which was insane for the 30s. Now another weird feature of this car is that it only has rear brakes. So if you look there and by the front tires, you could see there's just the axle and the steering. If you look on the back, there's actual brakes. There are no front brakes at all, which means stopping, if I were to slam on my brake right, brakes right now, stopping is very hard, as you can see. It doesn't really stop. This car that I'm driving right now is completely stock. Did I mention the car weighs 4,500 pounds? Yeah, this car weighs about two and a half tons. So, only rear brakes does not help at all. This car was just added into the... into this game this week for the autumn season. As you can see, you know, trees and stuff, everything's uh, colored and green and red. It's a pretty cool car. Here's the inside view, the interior. You can actually see the mirror. It only has one mirror in its rear view, and it's like sideways, which is kind of weird. You can also see it has a very small windshield, probably not much bigger than like an iPad or something like that. You can see it has three gears and only revs to about 3,000 RPMs. Again, it is a plane engine, so it's not really meant for driving. But we're, we're in third gear here, final gear, and there's a little speed, here's a little speed test. There's a big straightaway right here. I'll let you listen to the engine as well. There we go. About 176 miles per hour before it stopped accelerating pretty good considering this car is from 1933 and weighs about the size of a small truck. This car has, I believe, 560 something horsepower. That's what I read about it last. So it is definitely not an underpowered car by any means. If you look carefully, you can actually see that the Railton has three exhausts. You can you can see there's one by the back left tail light on the side, and there's two underneath the tail lights on the bottom. Why does it have three ex separate exhausts? I have no idea, but it does. So that's another weird feature. With these very thin tires that it has. It is actually very slippery and drifty. You can see just if I get up to a corner, it just slides. It has almost no grip. And instead of pulling the handbrake to get into a better drift, you can actually just slam on the regular brakes because they are rear brakes only anyway. Now, I'm not going to be turning this into a drift car, but I'm sure you could if you really wanted to. Because you can see it does drift pretty well. There's also a nice bit of green on the bottom. I'm not sure why, but that is. You can actually see the suspension a little bit through the back tires there. There's a little hole in the side of the car that lets you kind of see in. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a race just to show you that this car can race. 
I'll get a longer race, not a circuit race, because this thing doesn't turn much anyway. So this part is going to be sped up as I am attempting to drive to this race. So enjoy. And okay, I am back from the speed up time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that. We have we have uh, arrived at the racetrack, the race, really track. It's more just on streets. But let's start this up. We're gonna pick vintage racers. We're gonna be racing against other vintage cars. You can see here some of the specs for the cars. Uh, handling not great. Launches. Pretty okay. The speed is pretty good. You can see 564 horsepower, 4,500 pounds, and a whopping 1,200 foot-pounds of torque. So it is very, very torquey, as you could probably imagine from an airplane engine. But let's go ahead and start up this race. Here's the race. So I'm just going to not select that, whatever that was. Let's go ahead and get right into this race. Probably going to have a ton of wheel spin. And seeing uh, on the right side there's actually old 30s Bugatti, or actually it's 20s I believe. So we are racing with lots of classic racers here. Let's see if our airplane car can beat all of these others. third gear is not very good. It's very low and underpowered gear, but so I'll probably be staying in second for most of the race except for extremely long straightaways because I would like to go much faster. I also have to be very careful of my brakes because I keep forgetting I only have rear brakes and I cannot stop or go around corners easily. I will just spin out or slide into a wall. It's not terrible for racing though. It was a race car when it was designed, or a top speed car, whatever you can call it. So it is meant to go fast. In, on corners, probably not. I imagine it was a more of a top speed car, but it does okay around the corners. Especially, it's stock and has these extremely skinny tires. It's not bad for what it has. Do a little interior view here. Yep, getting slippery around those corners. Slim tires. Oh no, should have braked around that corner. I did break around that one, but the brakes are kind of making me slide all over the place here. Surprisingly, none of the other racers have caught up and passed me. Okay, let's go back to exterior view. Taking that corner wide. Almost spun out right there. This Bugatti behind me is getting closer. Race is pretty much over here anyway. Let's see if we could just pull away from him. Yeah, we're definitely pulling away from him. We have a much bigger, stronger engine. And here is the finish line. Naple Rail Railton, first place. You can see a Bugatti and a Ferrari came in second and third. Not bad. Ooh, I get to try the Forza wheel spin. 
almost level 200. Let's see what I get. Ooh, nice. 175 grand. Not bad. So, this has been the Naper Railton. This has been Whiskers Plays Games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!